The world of One Piece is a thriving one, where events are always transpiring, even if the author, Ezra Oda, isn't directly showing the reader. Even though we are with the Straw Hats, we can be sure that other major events may be unfolding elsewhere that will be real to us in a later date, and oftentimes we never even see these events. Vianco, Marshal D. Teach, primarily known as Blackbeard, has become a renowned and feared name in the One Piece world due to his many conquests, many of which went unseen. Even though Oda has spent little time with Blackbeard as a character in the main portion of the story, he has consistently kept him relevant to the revelations of his significant actions when the time to reveal that information arrives. These events are so significant due to how they help contribute to shaping the One Piece world and future events that we would see later down the line. And due to this, there's a lot to explore regarding these events we aren't direct witnesses to, and their impact on the story that was yet to come, and the insights they grant us into Blackbeard as a character. My name is Champizard, and these are some of the events that Oda hasn't showed you. The Unseen Actions of Marshall D. Teach, Blackbeard. Many of Blackbeard's unseen escapades are events that we know scarcely little about, but some of his earliest but yet extremely notorious exploits were among our first exposure into how nefarious he truly is in the series. While we have seen glimpses of these events, they were never shown outright to the reader and remain somewhat concealed despite the details being properly well known. The first of these that I want to discuss regards the murder of Thatch, the 4th Division Commander of the Whitebeard Pirates. This action set off a chain of events that would ultimately culminate with the Paramount War. In a way, this was the first summoner to fall in a chain reaction that greatly impacted and altered the One Piece world as it helped in forging some of the most significant events in the series. Thatch had attained a devil fruit, the Yamayami no Mi, which Blackbeard had desperately been seeking to get his hands on for a very long time. This led to Teach murdering the commander, stealing the fruit, and abandoning the Whitebeard pirates who he had spent so much time with. A direct result of Teach's untimely betrayal and murderous actions was what led to the next event. Following the murder of his crewmate Thatch, Porcus D. Ace became fixated on rectifying this injustice, even against his Captain Whitebeard's advice, and pursued Thatch's killer for his betrayal of Whitebeard and his crew. Eventually, Ace's pursuit of Blackbeard would come to an end at Bonaro Island. This event is only partially unseen as we did see the beginning stages of the fight play out, but the final clash of the duel between Ace and Teach went mostly unseen, as well as the aftermath and winter of the fight, as the last bits of the encounter that Oda showed us was both Teach and Ace gearing up for one final clash. We only learn what happened on Banara Island later on when it was revealed Ace was imprisoned and impaled down and was set for execution. Though we didn't see it directly play out, it was revealed and easily surmised that Ace had lost the duel, being defeated by Blackbeard. Blackbeard would ultimately deliver Ace to the Marines and become a Warlord of the Sea. These two actions, the murder of Thatch, which made Ace embark on his pursuit, and Ace's capture and delivery to the Marines, resulted in the Paramount War which changed the landscape of the series. But Teach also partook in more significant activity during the Paramount War. Before arriving to the battlefield, he arrived at Impel Down. His arrival to the Herring Prison coincided with Luffy's breakout with other prisoners, but while they were breaking out, Blackbeard was breaking in. We do see some of this unfold, but I felt it worth pointing out as this was another significant step for Teach as his visit to Impel Down led to him assembling several of individuals into his crew, members who would become paramount in some of his future activities. Terrifying individuals who were considered among the worst in the prison that he chose to recruit to further his strength in his already growing empire. Another event that we were witness to, but lacked details of, was Teach obtaining Whitebeard's devil fruit, which was done after they covered Whitebeard's body shortly after the Emperor's death. This is a mystery that still perplexes many that has spawned countless theories on just how he did it. An action that gave Blackbeard the power of two devastating devil fruits, further solidifying his incredible strength. Many of Blackbeard's most significant actions would transpire during the two-year time skip. Many events that were massive in the One Piece world happened during this time, and we slowly learned of these events following the Straw Hats venturing to the New World. But some of these events remain shrouded in mystery as the specifics have not been revealed by Oda, maybe because he's saving them for future parts of the story. One such event is a battle that has come to be known as the Payback War. This battle occurred approximately one year into the time skip. We didn't learn of the event until well into the New World as information surrounding it wasn't revealed until Zoe, where light was finally shed on this massive battle. The Minks were planning to set out to find Marco, the first division commander of the Whitebeard Pirates, who had disappeared following the war. We learned that one year ago, following the death of Whitebeard and Ace, that there were those who sought revenge against Blackbeard for the role he played in their demise. Marco and the remainder of the Whitebeard Pirates assembled one more time with their full force to take on Blackbeard and his growing pirate crew. Despite the likes of Marco and the other powerful pirates under Whitebeard's banner being assembled, they were obliterated in the battle. This was a huge event for Teach as a victory over the remnants of his former crew was a powerful and resounding victory that only made his name even more feared, and further proved that the steps he was taking was bearing fruit, and proving successful. His time spent growing his forces with the likes of the worst prisoners in Impel Down proved to be quite the brilliant play as they no doubt assisted in this overwhelming defeat, but once again the specifics of the battles remain unknown, just the outcome has been revealed. But at the end of the day, that is just Oda conveying to us as truly all we need to know regarding this event, as that's the most important aspect. 
the winner and the outcome. But this victory did much more for Blackbeard's notoriety in the New World. It was following this victory that Teach began to be included among the four emperors alongside Shanks, Big Mom, and Kaido, giving him worldwide recognition, replacing Whitebeard, the captain of the crew he defeated that helped him attain that feared title of Yonko. Following their defeat, Marco and the others vanished, going into hiding. This event led to Marco serving as a doctor at Whitebeard's village, which is where we find him before the events of Wano. Blackbeard would go on to seize much of Whitebeard's territory. During this time, Blackbeard greatly grew the size of his crew, practically becoming a fleet. He also began seeking out powerful devil fruits in order to further empower his already growing crew. He also eventually would come face to face with former Marine Admiral Kuzan. Blackbeard revealed some of his goals, such as finding the location of the man with the burn scar who possesses the fourth road poneglyph. We see Kid also mention this individual following the raid on Onigashima. Naturally, Teach wishes to obtain this poneglyph to ultimately reach Laftail. What proved to be a monumental acquisition, Blackbeard managed to persuade Kuzan to join his crew, instantly becoming one of his most powerful allies. The Payback War was a domino effect that made the world realize just how much of a threat Blackbeard truly was as it was only the beginning of the new Yonko's many successes. Blackbeard was also involved in the Rocky Port Incident, something which we know even less about than we do the Payback War. Trafalgar Law played a role in this event which transpired at Hachinozu. This event was significant for more than just Blackbeard. Law took the hearts of 100 pirates at this incident, which led to him becoming a warlord of the sea. Kobe also became acclaimed as a hero for his heroics at Hachinozu as he protected the civilians there. While Kobe was there to begin with is unknown, as another aspect of this event involved a battle between pirates, Blackbeard vs. Ochoku, a former member of the Rock's Pirates. Blackbeard was ultimately victorious as he dethroned the renowned, but mysterious to us, pirate to control the island for himself. How exactly Law instigated this is unknown, and the specifics of the battle themselves are unknown, but it did prove fruitful to Blackbeard in the end as Hachinozu became a base of operations for him that he would utilize in the events to come, such as being the location for Garpert's battle to liberate Kobe from his imprisonment by the Blackbeard Pirates. While little is known about this incident, the fact Blackbeard was able to overthrow a former member of the Rock's Pirates and claim the infamous island of Hachinozu for his own makes it an extremely noteworthy event. Baltico is an island located in the Grand Line that served as a base for the Revolutionary Army. The island is known to be mysterious and its location is mostly hidden, making it such an ideal place for a group such as the Revolutionaries. It's also where Robin spent some time during the two-year time skip during her time with the group. But eventually its location did get out and that leak proved to be very costly for the Revolutionary Army as this event ultimately forced them to relocate their forces entirely to avoid doing direct battle with the world government. The leak of the location really began during the Dressrosa arc. Sabo, a very prominent figure in the army, eventually went apart from Rosa after seeing Luffy and claiming Ace's Devil Fruit for his own. But Sabo remained oblivious to what was happening on his voyage back to Baltigo, as Jesus Burgess, who had also been at Dress Rosa on behalf of Blackbeard to pursue the Marimara Nomi for his captain, managed to infiltrate Sabo's ship and serve as a stowaway on the vessel. While in hiding aboard Sabo's ship, Burgess managed to make contact with the likes of his fellow captains within Blackbeard's forces. His allies, who possessed his fever card, managed to use his abilities to lead them to Burgess's location, which ultimately led them to Baltigo. After having tracked Burgess down and lurking at Baltigo's location, Blackbeard pirates descended upon the island which led to a battle that did damage to the island. This forced the Revolutionary Army to flee the island which led to them relocating to the Kamabaka Kingdom and making it their new base of operations. Following this clash with the Revolutionaries, Blackbeard even clashed for a short time with Cypherpole but would ultimately flee to avoid unnecessary losses. While it's not entirely clear why Blackbeard wanted to target the Revolutionary Army, it does show how successful he was. As locating Baltigo, their home base, and dealing damage to them and forcing them to relocate is something the world government even failed to do. As for a long time, the Revolutionary Army had proved to be very mysterious and secretive about their locations. Something as simple as a stowaway pirate, it cost them dearly. This is yet another event where we saw very little of what happened, and know very little as to the details. This marks the end of the major events that Blackbeard partook in that remain largely unseen, though there were a few notable happenings worth mentioning. We know following these events that Blackbeard went to Amazon Lily to obtain Boa Hancock's silver fruit, only to be thwarted by Rayleigh, but in the process he did take Kobe prisoner in hopes to use him to force the world government into acknowledging Hachinozu as his own individual nation. He also set the likes of Kuzan the Toto Land in the absence of Big Mom as seen in a cover story. It's feared to be fruitful as his goal was the capture of Charlotte Pudding, and we know as readers of the story that Big Mom had hopes for her to be able to read the Pony Gloves one day, to help her reach Laftail. He also devised plans to steal Road Pony Gloves after learning of the events of Wano. This is what led to the ambush of the Heart Pirates following Wano, which culminated with the defeat of Law and his crew. And there are other events that Blackbeard could soon partake in that could remain unseen, but as a reader of the story I hope we actually see it, because one thing that is looming is him potentially possessing Pluton.
Following the Royal Nigashima, we learned that Pluton has been hidden in Wano. Luffy didn't want the legendary ship, but we did see that Karibo overheard about this information as well. Never said it's been theorized, and parts of the story have implicated that Karibo will seek out Blackbeard to tell him of Pluton's location, indicating that one day, Blackbeard may claim Pluton for himself, which if he does would make him a massive threat not only to Luffy, but everyone in the One Piece world. Blackbeard has remained a very active but yet very mysterious character since his inception. We rarely know what he's up to and often only hear of it through other means in which Oda wishes to relay that information to us. But he's been more willing to show Blackbeard's antics more recently, as we did see the events of him visiting Amazon Lily and ambushing Law unfold, which could be a sign that Oda is gearing up for the endgame and is preparing for us to be more familiar with the character, as Teach will no doubt play a pivotal role in the final arcs of the story. Some even believe he's the final villain that could potentially oppose Luffy claiming the One Piece. One of the things that's made Blackbeard so impactful and notorious in the world of One Piece, though we've barely seen him, is that around every corner it seems that Oda introduces us to some new major event that Blackbeard took part in, and it's obvious Oda has done this to build Blackbeard up in the background while we explore with Luffy and his crew, as the world of One Piece is an extremely active one, and Oda can't possibly illustrate to us every single major event that's happening, but it always seems that Blackbeard is such a common denominator with these major events. Blackbeard remains enveloped in mystery, and his overall goals remain unclear. How does he have multiple devil fruits? Why does he seem to never sleep? There's a lot of questions and plenty of theories, but they went for certain is Blackbeard will continue to play a pivotal role in the story, and as we gear up for the final saga of One Piece, with the way Oda has built that Blackbeard, he'll be one of the most significant players in this final saga. Blackbeard will no doubt continue to play a pivotal role in the story going forward, and hopefully we can continue to see these major events that he partakes in. Events that Oda would have once left unseen. My name is Champazard, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as it helps the video on the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to leave a comment letting me know your thoughts about what I had to say. And if you agree or disagree with anything, or if there's anything that I might 